you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the 1030 content update. We got heavyweights, potentially superstars. I'm doing my intro a little bit early before 1030 actually hits so that I can get this video out as quick as possible, guys. So, hopefully everything gets on the auction block by the time I'm done with my intro. And I'll obviously be pulling a pack for you guys. I got the training ready. If heavyweights come out with training, I'm dropping the training on. I'll pull one for you guys towards the end of the video whenever I can see what they got. I'll go over them a little bit. But, guys, first off, we're at 4.1K subs. You guys smashed the sub button yesterday. Like, broke it. We actually gained almost 1,000 subs in a day and a half. So, guys, I don't know if you could do it. I don't want to doubt you guys. But if you could... Smash the sub button. I'm gonna say it in all my videos today. Let's get to 5k by tonight or tomorrow morning at least if we guys could do that That'd be unreal. I'd be so happy. So let's get to 5k smash the sub button every single one you're watching every single one of You won't regret it hit this hit the like button. Let's get to 200 likes in this video. Actually. No, this is a content video. Let's get to 100 likes 100 likes smash the like button and then comment down below What heavyweight you like which one you would prefer to get out of all of them and if I let's see if I can even a fire pull out of this but guys Let's start getting into this video. I think it should be out now. Let's go check the store. I might, have to, I might have to do a little refresh and back out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, special offers. There's a clutch bundle. A new bundle, guys. Let's go over this real quick. We had 11 times clutch bundle. Let's see the info. 86 plus is a 5.8. 84 plus is 80, 18%. 82 is a 45%. And 80 plus is 100. So it's a guaranteed elite. 11 clutch packs. This is new. Contains an, So it's like an elite pack. It's like a juiced up elite pack. Right? No, it kind of... It's kind of just an elite player pack. Kind of fraudulent. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, so we got the heavyweights right there. It's it's run by, it looks like, Joe Staley and Joey Bosa. So we definitely got those two in there. Let's go to the auction block and we'll see what we can get. I also have a red zone pack to drop this pack of the video. See if I can pull something out of that. So you guys got the heavyweight pack, the heavyweight content, the packs, and you guys got a red zone pack. So let's go see. Program. Heavyweights. Are not showing. I gotta back out. Alright, so we're back in here. We're loading back into it. I have to just back out, see if the auction block updated because they did not show heavyweights. There should be a there should be a filter form. I hope there is. I'll make it kind of annoying to do right now without it, but let's say program. And there we go. Heavyweights. So let's see. We got Joey Bose on the blocks. Let's see these stats real quick. This card art is pretty sick, not gonna lie. I really like this card art. It's kind of fresh. Six foot five, he's a he's a monster. 75 speed, pretty fast for an end, 82 excel. 82 strength, 73 tackle, 86 play rec, 73 block shedding, 93 power move, and 91 finesse. Now, am I the biggest fan of his stats? No, I don't know why Joey Bosa's stats are always underwhelming to me. He's got a 91 finesse move, but I never like his block shedding. Let's compare him real quick to Reggie White. Yeah, Reggie White blows him away. I kind of assume that. So, obviously for my team, he won't be useful, but for a lot of other teams, he might be. Let's refresh this one more time. I like how the best card was pulled already. All right, we got some more. So, we got Joe Staley, 87 strength, 85 awareness, 83 pass block. 77 pass block power, 84 pass block finesse, 87 run block, 88 block power, 86 run block. Okay, so hold up. Trent Williams might be getting the boot. Trent Williams might be getting the boot. I don't know, that 86 on the left side look kind of good though. Trent Williams, oh, Trent Williams might be on. All right, boys, there's a new left tackle in town. It might be Joe Stale. Let's refresh again. We got Yannick Ngakwe, if I said that right. Let's see his stats. Uh, I'm not even going to read them all. They're kind of underwhelming, honestly. 86 finesse, 56 blocks. This car is disgusting. Don't bother with this card, guys. Not even going to go into that one. I don't know what they were thinking with that. We got the Kenny Clark. I do like Kenny Clark. Let's see. Let's see. Let's read his good stats. He's got a 65 speed for defensive tackle. It's not horrible. 86 play rec, 90 strength, 86 block shed, 79 power move. You put some uh, run stuff on him or whatever, or pass rush. He's not bad. Honestly, these cards are a little underwhelming so far. All right, there we go. Lane Johnson. That's the one I've been waiting for. I thought I could hype out Patrick Ricard for some reason. So Lane Johnson. Here we go. Here's the right tackle we need because Mitchell Schwartz is disgusting. I'm tired of having him. His pat, his, I don't know, his run block gets destroyed. I'm tired of watching him get shedded. And his pass block doesn't even feel that good either. We need this lane. Let's see what his speed is before quick. That's always a 75 speed. Perfect. Get pin and pull on your running back with Lane Johnson. It's over. It's over. He's got, let's see, let's, let's read his stats from the back right here. He's got 83 strength, 89 awareness, 83 pass block. He's got 85 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 83 run block power, and 82 run block finesse. This card is going to be my right tackle as soon as I can afford him. And by afford him, I mean as soon as he's cheap enough. 
as you guys can see, Yannick and Gakwe is going for very cheap already. Someone's trying to sell him because they know he's not too good. Let's see if there's any more. I see Ali Marpit. Kenny Clark. Okay, I think we're coming towards the end of these. Let's see. Oh, no. There's a defensive tackle for the Vikings. We have 83 strength, 84 awareness, 82 pass block, 85 pass block power, 78 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 86 run block power, and 82 run block finesse. So he's actually a really good left guard. Let's compare him real quick. Andrew Norwell. Okay, no. I prefer mine. Ah, he's better run blocking, though. I mean, I already got Norwell, so it is what it is. But, guys... Ali Marpet's pretty good so far. So far, the, the dubs, right? Joe Staley, Ali Marpet, Lane Johnson, and, and Kenny Clark's pretty good. Those so far are dubs. I'm really liking those cards. Where's the Vikings one? Linval Joseph. 69 speed, 92 strength, 84 play rec, eh, 83 play. I'm not even going to go over stats. Again, I don't really like them. You guys see them on the screen. Not too good. So I'm going to go over the dubs real quick of what you guys would want out of these packs. You're going to want Kenny Clark, Joe Staley, Lane Johnson. You're going to want Ali Marpet. And that's about it, right? Lane Johnson, Joe Staley, Ali Marpit, Kenny Clark. Oh, I didn't forget anyone. One last refresh before I go over to open my pack. It goes to my red zone pack, so we can get anything. Okay, I think we've hit every player. One more refresh to be safe. These cards are not bad though. For the first heavyweight drop, this is not bad at all. This is Patrick Ricard and everyone over him. 92. Oh, this is just, this is an awesome fullback for um pitching. I do a lot of runs with the fullback, so 92 lead block, 86 impact block is gonna be huge. Don't sleep on Patrick Ricard. He's him and, Mar him and Marcus Allen might run weekend league, honestly. All right, so let's head out of this. Those cards are pretty awesome. I'm going to need, I'm going to, I want a lot of those linemen, to be honest with you. Let's go over to the store. Let's open one of these packs. If we pull Lane Johnson, we're keeping him. Please, can we pull Lane Johnson? Come on. Come on. Who do we get out of this first heavyweight pack of the year? We get, to, oh, oh, that's a cool animation. We get Joey Bosa. So we got the, I think we got the best one. I think we pulled the best one back to back weeks. We pulled last week. What we get? We got Andrew Luck for the flashback. We got Joey Bosa for the heavyweight. That's not bad at all. I don't have enough for another one, guys. So that is about it for j the pack. I do have a red zone pack. See if we can pull something out of there. I saw some guy pull a flashback out of a random pack. I don't know if that's true. Might be BS, but I'm going to see if I can. Let's go look up what Joey Bosa is going for real quick. I think he should be the best one, right? Him and Lane Johnson kind of headlined the whole program for this week. Wow. It's back-to-back -back pulls of getting the best one. Joey Bosa is going to be a... Yeah, he's a good pull. All right. All right, I'll take that. Now, let's go open this red zone pack real quick and see if we can get anything out of that. Whew. Okay, so far, I've not lost training. It could have been a lot worse both times, but it has not been. Okay, red zone pack or quick sell. I'm taking the red zone pack. See if we can get anything on video here. I saved it for you guys. I got it from Seasons, actually. All right, so red zone pack. First card's of gold. Okay, Von Bell. Not what we're looking for. Second card of silver. Taylor Hearn, not what we're looking for. Ooh, Vincent Taylor. Gold, come on. Try taking my quick sell. And we get a silver. Corey Boriquez and Jeremy Clark, Ronald Darby. All right, that's about it for that. Okay, no more packs. Well, let's see what we can do with this Joey Bosa, guys. So just to recap real quick, we got the new heavyweights. Ultimate superstars are coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if it should be. It might not be today. It might be tomorrow. Or the next day, I'm not sure yet. Weekend League does drop at 4.30 tonight. We got our Bosa. Kind of hype about that. I'm selling my luck. So look, we got our two pulls here. So make sure, make sure to go check out the other three videos today, guys. There should be some more good news coming for you guys regarding Weekend League and some things I think you need for Weekend League. But guys, this Bosa right here, I'm not a fan of his stats, but his, his price is going to look good. And I believe I made my training back, if anything. So that's not too bad there. I'll definitely be taking that. I hope you guys, I wish you guys luck in these packs. I do not recommend them. If I was you, I do not recommend them because realistically, if you don't pull Bosa or Lane Johnson, maybe Joe Staley, you're, you're losing money. Even if you pull them, you're just making your money back. So in my personal opinion, I don't recommend these packs. Could you re-roll them? Yeah, you could re-roll them. But is that is that what I recommend? Not really because I did spend that training to get that training right back. I'd recommend you sell them right off the bat. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I hope you guys get this video out nice and quick. I hope I can edit it up quickly. And if you guys have been enjoying the content, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes for it being a content video. You guys killed the last one. I did the Ultimate Superstar, so I greatly appreciate that. Make sure to comment down below who's your favorite heavyweight. I think mine is Lane Johnson. I'm really liking that Lane Johnson card and that Ricard card. Not going to lie, that fullback. And guys, smash the sub button. I'm going for 5K subs by today or tomorrow morning. I don't know. It's going to be tough, guys, but I think you could do it. So smash the sub button. Turn on the noti bell to be notified every single time we post. It helps me out a lot and helps you guys out a lot as you guys get to see content videos like this up and early, guys. But guys, if we hit 5K tonight, I don't know what I'll do. I'll go crazy. 
I'll go crazy. I don't have anything planned for it, but I'll definitely go crazy. I'll appreciate it. And the grind for 10K has, the race has started for 10K. I'm going for it by the end of this month. If this, if this pace continues, I think we can hit it, but I'm not sure guys. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all the support as of lately. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.